Now, when you sit with others and you talk about religion and you talk about different faiths and different beliefs, what is your demeanor? What is your what is your reaction to it? Now, me, you see, I'm not going to pat myself on the back here, but I'm just going to give you the type of person I am when I talk about Jesus Christ. I don't back down from him. Um, too many Christians are backing down, believing in Jesus Christ. Now, you say you believe in him, and you say you love him, and I'm not denying you do before anybody gets upset with me. I'm not saying that. But if you believe in Jesus Christ, that he died on the cross for you, why would you not say anything to a Muslim, to an atheist, to uh, a Jewish person, to a Hindu? Why would you not say anything? Now, I get it, and I understand we're not all made the same, and God has different jobs for each and every one of us. But I see so many Christians, they, they, they put their head down and they back down from it. Why are you ashamed of Jesus Christ? It's just a question I have. It's just something that, uh, for me, it's hard to understand. Again, I'm not attacking anybody. I say this in every video on every subject. I'm not here to attack. It's just, what are you ashamed of? Yeah, I believe in Jesus Christ, and that's the end of it. That's it. When when, when the subject comes up of faith, well, I don't want to. I don't want to offend anybody. I don't want. I don't want to upset anybody. I don't want to offend. Then what? What do you believe in? Then why do you even believe in Jesus Christ? I'm not saying you have to be there with uh, pounding your chest and you know going uh, off the wall about him because we're not all built that way. I get that. Let me read one scripture to you. Give me one second here, please. Let's go to Romans 1.16. For I am not ashamed of the gospel, for it is the power of God for the salvation of everyone who believes. I'm not ashamed of the gospel, Paul is saying. I'm not ashamed to talk about Jesus Christ. I'm not ashamed to stand up for him. So, everyone that's out there that's a believer in Christ, again, I'm not saying you have to be out in front because we're not all made the same. God did not make us the same as far as what he wants us to do. I'm not saying that. But don't, don't sit back and not say anything because you don't want to offend anybody. Who's the one you're offending, really? Jesus died on the cross. He wasn't ashamed of you. Think about that for a second. I see it so many times. No, this is an attack. This is just something that was on my mind and on my heart. Yes, I believe in Jesus Christ. I say, I believe, I believe. And then when it comes to conversation, I don't want to offend because we're not supposed to talk about religion. Really? Really? What if Jesus said that about you? Well, I don't want to offend anybody, so I'm not going to die for them. I'm not going to. I'm not going to love them. I'm not going to do this. I don't want to. I don't want to be known. I don't want to. I don't want to love them. How would that make you feel? Again, I come to you with love in this message. Don't be ashamed of Jesus Christ. If you love him and you believe in him. I'll say one more time. You don't have to be front and center and, and fighting the fight every day. Because we're not all built that way. Me, I am. And again, I'm not patting myself on the back here. By any stretch of the imagination. But go out there and say the name Jesus Christ to one person. And say, yeah, I believe in him. And not just say, well, I don't want to say his name because I don't want to offend who are you really offending? Who would you rather offend? Them or your Lord? I want to thank everybody for watching and listening. I love you all very much. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the like button. We greatly appreciate it. Again, thank you all. And may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all.